Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at equities and E-mini S&Ps. Boy, yesterday it looked so good. We went from not too long ago trading 2,700, we got to 2,800 and it looked like the momentum was building. We were gonna see maybe a pop, maybe test those, those, those all-time highs. Yeah, it didn't last very long. We come in today and things are, are aggressively sold. We, we obviously traded off the lows a little bit, but we did see some pretty heavy selling, some pretty neg negative momentum. We sort of took the air out of our balloon. Uh, and ultimately, I think right now it's more of a, you know, watching the trade issues with China, the tariffs, the back and forth, who's, who can be bigger and, and, and how it affects their economy. And I think that the uncertainties continue to kind of hover over the market, something that we've talked about but haven't really seen any evidence of because of the fact that while well, the equity markets were down today, they ultimately keep going higher. Uh, but ultimately, uncertainty is going to be a big factor here um, as we move forward when we have earnings, when we have the president dealing with what's going on in NATO, and we continue to have uh, trade talk issues not only with China but with Canada and Europe. So there's a lot of things up in the air right now. We did touch that 2800, but we fell short of it today. Uh, obviously, the data and, and Fed policy and all that will play a hand in it as well. But right now, the trend is still your friend. Higher equities are coming. I just think we, we took kind of a pause day, we'll call it, uh, due to the fact uh, of the uncertainties I just mentioned. And if you look at uh, the VIX index, it, it was higher, showing some you know, you know, risk being priced into the market, but nothing that would suggest fear, nothing that would suggest uh, get me out, nothing that would suggest that this is any kind of sustained trade. So a modest uptick in the VIX index when we saw a, a pretty good sell-off in the E-minis uh, is hand, goes hand in hand. So right now, I, I really think that the, the volatility levels remain uh, too low for comfort given everything we talked about and given what's going on in the world right now. And lastly, ahead, key for equities is going to be earnings. Uh, we will set the table with some of the bigger bank earnings later this week and, and early into next week, and that will pretty much set the table uh, for, for the earnings season to come. I think that right now the expectations are that in the short term, uh, the numbers will be more positive. We'll see uh, good, strong numbers. It's the it's the forward guidance, I think, that will catch the market maybe a little bit by surprise. Because if you look out to uh, third and fourth quarter, uh, how can you really uh, give uh, accurate assessments when you still don't know how the trade wars are going to work out? You still don't know where inflation is going to be. You don't know really how these U.S. midterms are going to end up. And yes, that will be a big part of the way the stock market trades. Uh, and lastly, Fed policy. How will all this revolve around Fed policy? The, the Treasury market is telling you that a recession is possibly coming. Uh, with the way twos tens has been trading and getting flatter and flatter each day. The equity market right now continues to ride the high, the euphoria uh, of what we've seen over the last call it five years. And maybe it's running out of gas, but I think ultimately right now it, it comes down to the fact that the uncertainty will keep the market at, at a minimum over the longer term. In the short term, I think the trend still remains your friend in equities, despite the fact that we saw a modest pullback today. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.